Is there anything down here? No. Alright, let's go ahead and find as many goodies as we possibly can. Thanks for the cash. No. Looks like the rune is right below our feet here. Did they take him? Yes. He's safe. That's such good news. Our boy is safe. He is. The boat captain was decent. Your cousin was on board. We can lay low and meet them tomorrow. Leave with the next group. All right. We can share this apple tonight. In a week, we'll be on Addie's farm in Morley. I know you never liked Morley. But the three of us will be together. He says That's all that matters. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. Well, I know you people are poor and you only have an apple to share, but I'd like Please that. Stop that. <laughs> I would he like you to dead. share your wealth with me we'll because I'm saving the world. Also, because what's yours is mine. I hear you calling to me. That's a rune, and it's number five. Happy day. All right. All these rats crawling all over. Can I have that? I don't need that. All right. All these rats crawling all over. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle. I bring a bottle. He says to bring food. I bring. Final food. bone charm is over this way somewhere. Can I go through here? No. Perhaps it's up here. This also looks like the way I might need to go. wonder if I can manage to get enough of a running. Yep. I can certainly run through that. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of these guys. And that breaks through that. I wondered if that would do that. Who's first? You are. Second, and who's next? So there's something else in here. Yes, there's one there, and I think that's it. Looks like there's a fish down here somewhere. Hmm. I kind of want to go over this way, because I don't want two things shooting at me. And I imagine that that one will shoot at me as soon as I go towards this angle. Why don't you guys move? Or not? Doesn't look like I can make those two move. Alright, well, I go ahead and toss a grenade at these guys. There. That takes care of the rest of those. And now, now for this last guy swimming around here. He's a fast one, isn't he? Not anymore. I'll take that. All right. Now, where is that boom charm at? I can hear it, so it's very close. I hear you, bone charm. Undertaker. What is Undertaker? Uh, moves slightly faster while carrying corpses. Did we have this, and then we had to go back, and then lost it? kind of think we might have. Let's see here. Don't care to take those off. That I could take off. I'll take this off and put that on because that will make things just a tad easier. All right. Whoops. Uh, is there any other 
things that we're missing here. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think I have managed to pretty much get everything that I was going to get. Time to get myself out of here. I guess I could have jumped up above here. Or at least it looks like I can. Can I? I don't know. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, I could have gone through there without uh, shopping those things. Looks like you have to fall one way or another though. Nothing there. Hello, stuff. Anything good? Got some bolts. Might as well heal up a bit, too. Well, I think we are coming to the end of our journey here. Oops. I'm just gonna chop that open, aren't I? That's how that works. You chop it and it opens. It's much like a jungle. You have to slice it open. And I'm guessing this is the end of the mission. What? How was I detected? Nothing was found. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't detected here. That's weird. I have no idea how I managed to get detected. Alright, well, I might go back through this and be undetected. And we'll be right back. I don't know what the hell happened there. That might actually be Granny Rags that caused that issue. Which is going to be a pain in the ass trying to um, not be detected to get out. Because I'm pretty sure no one else detected me the entire um, the entire time. Hmm. How indeed am I going to make this work? I'll think of something. We'll be right back. So, this mission is a bitch. I actually had to redo this mission three times more than you guys have actually seen. Um, and the reason for that is this mission's very, very glitchy. Um, if you don't get seen by Granny Rags and you've killed the dogs, it counts as kills actual hostile kills uh, even though they're animals um, if you get seen by granny rags and you have uh, killed the dogs it doesn't count as kills that is so glitchy um, what I found out is the only way that you can not get seen by her is um, to either choke her out and uh, take the key by picking her up and then she turns into rats. Um, or you can uh, slow down time, grab the key off of her and rush out of there. Um, now half the time when you choke her out, uh, it will still count as being seen. The other half the time it counts as not being seen really convoluted and really glitchy. Um, the way that I've found that seems to work most of the time is slow down time, choke her out, and uh, grab the key, then slow down time again and run the hell out of there um, before Slackjaw has a chance to tell you about uh, how to get rid of Granny Rags and start up the uh, submission there. It's really convoluted. <laughs> this is a very, very glitchy mission. Um, but for doing this three times over, I ended up getting some random new bone charms, which are really good bone charms, like super good bone charms. And uh, I'll show you those as soon as we get into this next mission here. And honestly, I think after having to play that three times fully through um, to figure out why I was... Uh, getting something happening, um, I deserve those extra bone charms. <laughs> Anyways, we are at the Loyalists now. Uh, we've returned to the Hound Pits pub to pick up the trail of our old allies and find out where they've taken Emily. 
no idea what she's up to. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out uh, these bone charms. So the first one I got is called Welcoming Host. That uh, allows us to possess white rats for a longer time. We've got Waters of Life, which allows us to recharge health through drinking water, um, which basically means that we can recharge health and mana from drinking water if we have the correct bone charms on. I got Swift Shadow, which allows us to move slightly faster while in stealth mode. That is awesome. I got Sustained Rage, which I think we had at one point and then we lost. It's uh, just for adrenaline and we don't use that. And this one, this is the best of all the things that I got, is Strong Arms. It uh, causes choking to be about 100% faster. It is really quick now and um, it makes it much easier to take down people using uh, the choke move. So I really like that I got that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go talk to Cecilia here. Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. Yeah, it's me. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Yeah, I'm Except just here. Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. Cool. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Well, he kind of dropped Pendleton me off it was ish. Time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle. Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov, and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Hmm. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. That's probably a good thing. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Okay, so, um, seems like no one except for the three were actually betraying me. Not even Samuel, because he wanted to try and save me. And, um, seems like no one's to blame besides those three. Excuse me, lady. Is there anything in here? Holy tall boy. Okay, well, um, this is definitely not going to be easy, is it? What a day, huh? Gonna be a great party tonight. I was only a kid at the last coronation. If we even make it to tonight. Will you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poisoned, thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. With the mask in the river, left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. What? I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. <laughs> the crazy mask on, creeping closer and closer, ever closer until. Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, sure. now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying for the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were, the other night. What was I supposed to do, stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's going to be a new era. 
Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic, and the rats are never gonna leave until we had a real call to back. He says the outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. Alright, I think... Gotcha now. Whoops. <laughs> Was going to say that I think um, it would be a good idea to get out of here before they start to... Uh, coming up through here because I figure that tall boy was probably going to see me it seems like that uh, noise goes off every single time that I go through that door yeah I'm pretty sure that that is uh, triggered by going over over this area here for some reason because that noise doesn't sound like it's happening right now anyway um yeah I was thinking I should go across here quickly before that tall boy came back but it ended up being that the guy decided to turn around oh well I will just have to uh bide my time a bit longer oh hi well if you are going to be up here then let's pull you on back as you can see choking is way faster right now really think that that's part of the um, the regular audio I could be wrong though could just be part of the regular audio and that just happens to be happening around the time that I'm going through the door is there anything around here oh yeah it's a rune havelock huh uh, let's go pay Havelock a visit, shall we? See what he has to say for himself. Yeah, I don't know. That might just be part of the regular music. Anyway. That guy's walking away. So. So bullshit. That guy is not going to be a problem. This guy is probably going to be the only guy that's going to be a problem as soon as the tall boy starts walking down that direction. Which means I should be pretty okay to get up into this place. Surprised that tall boy doesn't trip over that guy right there. Alright. Can I? Yes I can. Don't worry, lady. I'm just uh, just placing some unconscious guards in here. I'm sure they won't uh, wake up and try to kill you later on. Maybe. Alright, as soon as this tall boy gets through here, I'm going to head towards the building. And then we'll get inside and see what we can do from there. I definitely want to go after that rune. Not big reason to go after it, but I would like to get it anyway. <laughs> 